If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, those on the road, subscribers and followers. Now, well, guess what today is? Got my notebook. It's Friday. That means that we're going to do the Easy Five Friday. And today's subject is five places or ways to get water. Now, when I first started this adventure, I was, not Carolyn, but I was really worried about campsites having water. I, it was a requirement of mine that we had to have places that have water. I was terrified of going to some place and not having water. I didn't know how I was going to get it if I didn't have water. Um, since then, the, my priority has changed. It's went from wanting water to having to have internet. So, um, you know, I, I've done a lot of soul searching on what my priorities are. And I'd rather give up the water at a campsite than the internet. Um, and anybody that's watched any of my videos for any time, they're going to know that the internet is very important to us. So, but that's not the subject. This category of uh, uh, subject of this uh, video today, it's water. So, water. Where can we get it if you don't have it at the campsite? Um, this one seems a little strange, but I actually saw it on a Facebook group, Pop-Up Camper face -up Facebook group. And since then, I've seen many people suggest it. So, I'm not crazy when I see, say it on video. Um, but a car wash. If you put your dollar in and you spray that water for, you know, half a minute, a minute, and get all that soap out, and you put it in your buckets, fill up your buckets, um, it tastes fine. I mean, I, I would still filter it. We do filter it. But there's no soap in it after you spray it for that length of time. And um, and it's very cheap. I mean, you can fill up all your buckets, six bucket, buckets for, you know, a dollar, dollar fifty, maybe two. A lot cheaper than going buying bottled water. Besides that, if you go buy bottled water, you still have to take your showers. Remember, we live in this thing. And that's what this, this YouTube channel is all about, is living out here at free campsites, you know, in the pop-up or whatever your, your, your case is. Um, so, you know, you don't have hookups. So if you're going to buy bottled water and you spend two bucks for, you know, a 24-pack of bottled water, you're not going to get a shower out of that. You're not going to be able to do dishes. You're not going to be able to do laundry. Um, you know, you're just going to have drinking water. Well... Go to the car wash, you'd be able to get enough water to do all those things and last you about a week, and, you know, for six, uh, six buckets. The one that I really, number two, the one I really have fallen in love with, I guess, is spring water. Here in Virginia, we've been at two campsites now, and both of them had spring water. Um, you know, they stick a pipe in the mountain and water comes out of it. It's incredible. I just, Carolyn actually brought it to my attention. We just found a, a website called, let me get my notes here, findaspring.com. It is really a nice website. It tells you where all the springs are. Um, and it's not, it looks like it's a new website, so not everything is there. As a matter of fact, the one that we are going to right now is not on that website. But it's right on the highway. These, these things are just clean, crystal clean water. Now, when I talk about water, and you're getting it from a source that you don't know what's ahead of the source, please boil your water. Or put those tablets in. Or, you know, make sure you got a solid filter. Whatever you do to make sure you have safe water, make sure you make it safe. Um, you know, I'm not advocating that you go and drink out of spring water. Uh, we don't. We either boil it. Or filter it or both um, so the, the spring that we're going to right now I'm telling you every time we go down there it is packed with people and everybody tells me oh no I drink it all the time okay that's great but I'm not I'm gonna filter it and the next one is pretty obvious number three free campsites free campsites have water um, if you go to freecampsite.net and you click on the filter there's a filter button up there in the top right hand side of that 
freecampsites.net um, you can select drinking water and it will tell you all the campsites that have drinking water in in that state uh, and it's kind of neat even if you get to a campsite let's say it's a national forest um, you can go to the national forest website also and it will tell you what's got drinking water so um, we were at uh, a Jefferson uh, Thomas Jefferson's uh, national forest we were at a campsite now the campsite did have water, but let's just assume for a minute it didn't have water. It was three free campsites. You could go up the hill to a paid horse camp on the National Forest, and it was three miles away, and get cleaner water than what we were getting at the free campsite. And when I say clean, you know, water is very rusty at these free campsites. It's just always so rusty. Um, but if we went up there, it was very clean water. So being a national forest you can go up there and get water um, again it was a paid site but we're not staying there we were just getting water so uh, but yeah free campsites they you can find them with with water uh, it's great a lot of them might be hand pump stations uh, but check them out um, number four is some rest areas and the reason i say some rest areas is we have ran into some that have not had water um, but you can even google that you can google to see if they have water now it's not always reliable um, the google search but when you get into the state stop at the rest the uh, here's my observation i could be wrong but it's my observation when you get to the a new state stop at the welcome center you're going to immediately know if the rest areas in, in that state have water because that one, the rest, the, the, the welcome center rest stop is going to have a spigot or it's not going to have a spigot. Um, and then you can tell if the rest stop next to your campsite has water, you're going to know it because of the welcome center. I hope that made sense. Uh, but yeah, rest stops is a good source of water uh, and we have used it. Uh, in Mississippi, we were 20 miles from a uh, rest stop, and, you know, we stopped and got water there. Number five, truck stops. Uh, you know, Flying J's, those kind of the, uh, truck stops. They're kind of set up for the deal. Now, of course, now you got to pay for it, and that's, that's a big deal. Um, what you're actually paying for is, to, is the dump. Um, but the one that I went to... And I've only been to one because I really haven't had a need to get water anywhere else. Or, you know, from there because I could get water from someplace else. Uh, but the one I went to, I went and asked. I said, I'm not dumping. Can I have water? And they said, yeah, you have to pay the, 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 the dump fee, whatever that was. And I don't remember. But if you're in a crisis and you need to get water, there is a good source to get water uh, to fill up your buckets. Now. All these sources that I'm talking about, again, is assuming that you have a portable, transportable water holding system. This isn't where you're going to take your camper and fill up your camper. No, you're not going to do that. This is just to fill up buckets or your blue water jugs, whatever your case is. So, I hope that helps you find your water. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe! Click like if you like the video and happy travels.